Welcome to Mac and PC Prime video. Today we're going to talk about what to do when we attach a hard drive to our system and it doesn't show up in our device list. So yeah, topic is external hard drives and that's probably the most affordable and most reliable solution for backing up our data. Sometimes we use these buddies for transferring important data from one computer to another. So having them working fine all the time is essential. Usually they are fairly simple to use. All you have to do is just to put them in and they appear on the computer. Then you can drag, drop, copy, delete files, do whatever you like. But sometimes we make an external hard drive to the PC with the USB port and find out that it doesn't show up. Usually the problem could be caused by one of these reasons. USB port connection issues. The USB port, plug or wire is damaged, power supply issues. The external hard drive isn't receiving enough power from your computer, unstable or corrupt drive. The USB controllers have become unstable or corrupt, incompatible or outdated drivers. You don't have the latest driver installed for your external drive. We may have partition issues on the external drive, Mac OS, Linux, Windows, or we're using the wrong file system. All there's driver corruption or the driver is simply outdated. If your external drive is still not showing up, even after the format, don't give up, carry on. You need to determine why your drive is not recognized. It's possible that you have a hardware issue or a driver problem, or simply the drive is dead. To exclude the possibility of a broken USB port, we're going to make a very basic exercise. Take the external hard drive and plug it into another USB port. If the drive shows up, it's clear that port number one is faulty. If it still doesn't show up, maybe it's a good idea to verify whether it's going to appear on another computer. Don't forget that at any point of time, there's the possibility that the, the cable that you use is also faulty. If the troubleshooting with using another USB port or another USB port of another computer does not really help, maybe we should start accepting the possibility that there's a hardware issue with the drive itself, but we're going to stay at the most software level. And I'm going to show you how to possibly recover driver issues. Press the Windows key and the X button and select the device manager in the list. Expand this drive category check for any devices with yellow exclamation marks. If you see the symbol that might be well indicating a problem, so right click, select properties and check the error message. If that still doesn't work, it is worth trying to update the driver. And for Windows 10 and Windows 11, this is really easy and a very automatic process. Go to device manager, look at the external hard drive from the list, go to properties, select update driver software, and then select search automatically for updated driver software. Power supply issues. If there is a light on your external drive, this can also provide a quick indication of whether the connection is working and power is being supplied. If the power LED on your hard disk is not lit, check that the adapter is properly connected to the power plug. If the power LED on your hard disk is not lit, connect the new power adapter to the hard disk. Now stay tuned because if there's a wheel, there's a way and we'll talk about all these possibilities and how to overcome them. First thing to do, let's go to a personal computer with Windows operating system and explore the disk management utility. This is the first place we should check whether the hard drive shows up if we're a troubleshooting. Press the Windows key and the X button or simply right click the stop button and select disk management from the list. Or you can also press the Windows key and R that already is advanced magic and type diskmgmt.msc and that's opening the very same thing disk management after that we're going to see the disk management summary and it's going to show us all the available hard drives which are connected and recognized by the computer we should see our external hard drive also listed in the disk management window even if it doesn't appear in the PC window because sometimes it simply doesn't have any partition so this is very likely to happen if you're attaching a brand new external drive for the first time. If you see the drive here, let's try to initialize it. Go and select it. In this way, you're going to partition and properly format the device so that it's properly recognized by Windows. Alternatively, if you see simply unallocated space, you only have to create a new partition. And let's see how this is done. Right click on the unallocated space, select new simple volume, which is the option and then follow the wizard to create a new partition. Once finished partitioning the drive, you can safely remove the drive, plug it back, and it should be operating back as normal. There's a third possible scenario, which is the nicest of all of them. 
Your external drive is fine. There is a partition, however. There is no letter, which is assigned to that partition. So here's what we do in that situation. Right-click on your drive and select Change Drive Letter and Paths. Select the Add option. If your hard drive doesn't have a drive letter, click the Change. If it already has a letter, and make sure to select Assign the following drive letter, then select the one you prefer, and click the OK button. So far, so good. We have explored three of the rather simple scenarios. Now, we're going to increase the difficulty and involve different file systems. If the drive appears partitioned, but you still can access it, it's probably partitioned with a different file system. For example, you may have formatted your drive with the XFS file system from Linux or APFS on Mac, but Windows can't read those file systems. You'll need to reformat the drive with a newer NTFS or with the older F32 file system so that Windows would be able to recognize it. Go to search for CMD type, open command prompt. Once the command line is open, type disk part and press enter. The above command will open a disk part window. In this window, type list disk and press enter. It will list all the available drives. Now type select disk, disk number two, as shown above. Specify the drive number which needs to be formatted. In this step, type clean. This command will permanently delete all files and folders and successfully clean up the disk. Close the all file, open disk management, in the Initialize Disk dialog box, make sure the correct disk is selected and then choose OK to accept the default partition style. If you need to change the partition style, GPT or MBR, right-click on the unallocated space, select New Simple Volume, which is the option, and then follow the wizard to create a new partition. Thank you for watching, just make sure you're subscribed to the channel. You leave a comment below that you're interested in giving away and wishing you good luck.